you've got a deal put together, congratulations. You've got the original purchase and sale agreement between you and the seller. Sorry about that, Kansas City is a noisy place. Also, you've got an assignment agreement now between you or your company and your buyer. And that's great news. There's a few things you need to do now. This is a very short step, but you need to get contact information for both the buyer, your buyer, and the seller, uh, including email address, and you need to get your contact information. You need to put that in an email to the title company, send it to the title company guy, and uh, so he has contact information for all three parties. Also send him in that same email a copy of the original purchase and sale agreement and a copy of the, uh, the signed assignment agreement. Also, while you're at it, send him a copy of an invoice for your assignment fee so that he knows how to pay you the day that it, that it closes. He'll know how to contact everybody. He'll also know how to pay you. He'll know what everybody's position and role is in the transaction, and this will make everything much, much smoother and much, much easier. If you wanna know an example of a invoice, uh, you can take a look at one that I've used. It's right down below the video. All right, congratulations for coming this far, guys. You're doing super, super good. So if, you, if you've come this far, go ahead and reach out to the title company, you know, the same one you found before, or, or if you've got forced into a different one somehow, you want to go ahead and contact them and build a relationship and start this out right by giving them everything they need to go ahead and continue this transaction and get it closed up and get you paid. All right, guys, I am out of here. I'll see you on the next step. Don't forget to stay in touch with the seller, your buyer, and with the title company every couple days or so until closing day. You want to facilitate communications and help solve any problems that might arise. Usually they're pretty simple issues and communication is key. I find that staying involved and helping the title company guys or gals interact or communicate with the buyer or the seller and get documents they may need or information they may need, may need is very helpful. I highly recommend you stay in touch with all three parties and be that facilitator, be that communication helper, and uh, you'll find that the, the thing will go very smoothly and a lot better. All right, see you in the next step, guys.